Hey, what's up you guys? So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a May Q&A with Gizmo, my severe macaw. If you guys don't know who Gizmo is, it's because he hasn't been in a lot of my videos. Gizmo is my severe macaw. He's 25 years old. He's an old burb and he's going to be joining us for today's Q&A. I asked you guys some questions on Twitter and let's get straight to it. Maddie asked, if you could ride any wild animal, what would it be? That's a hard one. I don't know. I would ride a giraffe, I think. That would be interesting. That would be a good time, right? I'd ride a giraffe, definitely. Can you ride a giraffe? Is How would that work? I don't know. Okay, anyways. Sienna asked, do you plan on getting any more pets in the future? Stay tuned is all I can say. Gizmo, chill. This is why he's not in my videos. Bowie's Aquatic Inc. asked, what's your dream animal and why? How many animals do you plan on having? My dream animal, I think, that I would want to actually have as a pet as of right now is either a sugar glider or a chinchilla. Sugar gliders are a lot of work because you have to like bond with them and stuff and I feel like I have enough of that with my birds. I don't know if I would actually get a sugar glider but I've always wanted a sugar glider. How many pets do I plan on having? I really don't know. Probably not too many more considering my parents are gonna be like kicking me out of the house any second. Vegetarian Trash asked, which one of your animals do you have the closest bond with? I would have to say mango probably because most of my animals are reptiles and stuff so they don't really bond with people that much but mango probably has the closest bond with me because birds bond with people immensely. So yeah, I would have to go with mango of all my pets. It's Joker 760 asked, would you own bearded dragons again? I kind of want bearded dragons again but as of right now i don't think i want bearded dragons because i literally do not have room for them i had an empty 40 gallon breeder tank and that's what i ended up putting my skink in i was kind of considering either a skink or a bearded dragon and i went with the skink so will i ever get a bearded dragon again i don't know but probably not anytime soon i do love bearded dragons and i think they make great pets so we'll see about that Elle asked, how did you convince your parents to let you have so many pets? Some of my pets I've gotten without their permission, which sometimes works. I guess it depends. I heard a lot of stories about people bringing pets home and their parents saying get rid of it. But I think my parents are okay with it because they know I take care of all my pets and they don't have to deal with any of them really. So most of my pets are in my room and I take care of them all. So I don't know. They don't really care, but I feel like I've pretty much reached my limit <laughs> with pets. Lex asked, how do you deal with Gizmo's aggression? I'm trying to tame my grandma's Quaker parrot and it isn't going well, LMFAO. Honestly, Gizmo's still aggressive towards me. You just kind of have to deal with it. Um, you just need to slowly... St what are you doing? Don't hide behind my head. Um, you just kind of have to deal with it and like work with them and spend a lot of time with them. Hand feeding your bird treats helps a lot with them getting used to you because they're like, oh, you're going to give me treats? Okay, that's cool. I like you. Another thing, I forgot where I read this, but I found it to be very useful with training my birds to step up from their cage. When you're going to get your bird out of the cage, like when you're putting your hand in there trying to get them to come out, to not give up until you get the bird out because... If you let your bird, like, win, I guess, you just say, okay, and you give up and let the bird stay in the cage after it starts biting at you, it'll know that it's in charge of you and that it can do what it wants and stay in its cage. But if every single time you don't give up until it comes out, it'll know, like, okay, well, he's gonna make me come out, so I'm just gonna come out, you know? And he'll slowly learn to step up onto your hand. Brooke asked, which do you like more, reptiles, mammals, amphibians, birds, or fish? I don't know. I own all of those things, and I can't choose a favorite. I love all animals. They're all awesome. H asked, what's your favorite song? Right now, All Time Low just came out with a new song called Life of the Party, and that's literally my favorite song right now. I can't get enough of it. Zara asked, I'm getting a son, Conier. Got any advice for when he, she comes home and what to expect from their behavior? Love your videos. Thank you. Well, when you first get your son, Conier, or whatever bird you're going to get, if anyone else is getting a bird, 
you want to keep them in their cage for the first maybe like week and not really handle them a whole lot because they need to get used to their new surroundings and their new cage and everything. But they're going to be very shy and might even be a bit aggressive at first. But as they get used to you and start calming down, they'll learn to, you know, calm down and they'll start bonding with you and it'll be good. If your Conyers a little shit at first, just give it time and he'll warm up to you. Gizmo. Curtis YT asked, how did I come up with all my animal names? Some of them are just names that I've liked. Monty, some of you guys have noticed I got his name because of Monty Python. That's just like the first thing that came to my mind. So that's what I named him. I named Mango Mango because a long time ago, my parents had a bird named Tango and they kind of wanted me to name it Tango, but I was like, no, I'm not going to name my son Conyer after your dead son Conyer. So I just kind of went with Mango because I named it after Tango and also because he looks like a mango. And all my other pets, a lot of them, I've just looked at lists of names online and just kind of chosen one that I really liked. Yeah? Yeah, Gizmo? Yeah? 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 Yeah, Gizmo? Megan Jane asked, have your parents accepted the new tank? Shh! Gizmo. Be quiet, Gizmo, please. Megan Jane asked, have your parents accepted the new tank build yet? Also, I love your skink. Thank you. Um, okay, so for those of you guys who haven't noticed yet, I set up a little tank over here. It's actually not that little. It's 30 gallons. I'm turning it into a reef tank. It's currently cycling. It's really ratchet right now. I have my light from my Fluval spec going over there because I have algae growing in there that I want to keep going. But yeah, once I get my light in the mail and I get some more live rock in there, I'll make a video on it, definitely. So stay tuned for that. I'm starting a reef tank. It's cycling. We'll get into it in another video. My parents were mad, but they, they've they accepted it at this point because <laughs> I kind of started doing it without asking them first. Wouldn't recommend. All right, guys, <laughs> Gizmo's getting pissed at me right now. So I think I'm going to end the Q&A here. If you want to be in my next Q&A, make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram because that's where I usually get my questions from. <laughs> also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel because I post videos every week. Check out my social media. The links to those will be in the description below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And say <laughs> goodbye to Gizmo. <laughs> Pretty bird. All right, bye. Bye, Gizmo. Okay. All right. Bye. He shat on my bed. Gizmo shat on my bed. I'm upset. This is bad. Bad bird. Just trying to fix myself. What the hell?